Red Bull Racing is currently experiencing one of its most successful periods in Formula One history, dominating the scenes since the beginning of the 2022 season. However, internal power struggles and political maneuvering threaten to disrupt the team's unstoppable momentum. This ongoing battle poses a significant risk to Red Bull's dominance in Formula One. What exactly is going on within Red Bull Racing? Let's delve into the details to find out. Red Bull Racing is meant to be gearing up with optimism to defend its dominant 2023 championship. However, the start of its 2024 season has been anything but smooth, marred by controversies and internal power struggles. At the heart of the turmoil lies a battle for control within the team, creating a significant power vacuum. To understand the current situation, it's essential to trace back Red Bull Racing's origins. Established in 2005 by Dietrich Mate Schitz, the team was a pivotal part of the Austrian brand's extreme sports marketing strategy. Alongside its sister team, Toro Rosso, Red Bull Racing quickly became a force in Formula One. Mateschitz's strong personality was instrumental in steering the team's direction, with advisors like Helmut Marko and team principals like Christian Horner playing key roles. However, Mateschitz's passing in October 2022 raised concerns about the team's future involvement in Formula One. Ownership of the team remained intact, with Mateschitz's son Mark inheriting his stake, while Chalam Uvidya retained his share. However, changes in management, including the appointment of Oliver Mintzlaff as CEO of corporate projects and new investments, shook the balance of power. Mintzlaff's arrival signaled a shift in leadership dynamics, sparking a fierce struggle for control. On one side stands Marco, serving as a link between Red Bull and its Formula One team. In the opposite corner is Horner, the renowned team principal who steered Red Bull Racing to numerous championship titles. Tensions simmered throughout the previous season, and by October, reports of conflicts between Marco and Horner surfaced, indicating the escalation of the power struggle within Red Bull Racing. According to recent reports, Christian Horner has reportedly been actively working to secure his position within Red Bull Racing amidst the evolving power dynamics within the team. With the influential figure of Dietrich Mateschitz no longer at the helm, Horner has allegedly sought to align himself with majority shareholder Chalam Uvidya to solidify his position of authority. There have been claims that Horner's camp strategically placed stories in the English media insinuating that Helmut Marko, another key figure within the organization, was losing favor with the business. On the contrary, Marko seems to have garnered support from Oliver Mintzlaff, who reportedly stands behind him in defense. Earlier this year, Marko revealed to the Austria Press Agency that his consultancy deal with Red Bull had been extended until the end of 2026. This extension suggests a vote of confidence in Marco's capabilities, as he remains committed to attending all 24 Grands Prix this season. Such a move contradicts the notion of an employee falling out of favor or backing down from a challenge. While both Horner and Marco have publicly denied rumors of a rift between them, their responses have varied. Horner downplayed the reports, attributing them to the vacuum of news following the early conclusion of the championship. In contrast, Marco's response was more assertive, emphasizing his contractual obligations and asserting his role in decision-making within the organization. Verstappen strongly supports Marco. The Dutch driver's strong support for Marco stems from the significant impact Marco has had on his F1 career. Helmut Marco is renowned for discovering talents like Max Verstappen. Marco's bold decision to introduce Verstappen to Formula One at the age of 17 showcased his foresight and influence in the sport. Verstappen's rapid progression from Toro Rosso to Red Bull Racing underscored Marco's pivotal role in shaping the team and nurturing emerging talents like Verstappen. Verstappen's steadfast support for Marco had significant weight for the Austrian's position. As one of F1's central figures with a long-term contract, Verstappen's endorsement underscores Marco's influence and credibility. According to reports, Verstappen informed Mintzlaff 
and the Thai boss that if Marco departs, he will follow suit. Verstappen is under contract with Red Bull until 2028 and intends to retire early from the sport. However, if Marco is dismissed, Red Bull could find itself confronting an unfavorable scenario sooner than anticipated. This situation undoubtedly places Red Bull in a challenging position, as they cannot afford to lose Verstappen under any circumstances. On the opposing side stands Christian Horner, supported by the legendary Adrian Newey, a mastermind in Formula One design. Newey's illustrious track record, boasting 12 constructors' championships and 13 drivers' titles, highlights his unmatched expertise and contribution to the sport. His pivotal move to Red Bull Racing in 2006 signaled the team's transformation into a championship contender. Horner's strategic partnership with Newey marked a turning point for Red Bull Racing, ushering in an era of unprecedented success. Together, they navigated the team through challenges and triumphs, culminating in dominant performances since 2022. So, the situation at Red Bull can be described as a divided house. Horner has his camp, and Marco has his, creating a notable internal division within the team. But before that, we know you wouldn't want to miss out on more exclusive content like this. So, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with all the latest in the world of Formula One. Let us move on. In addition to the power struggle between Horner and Marco, another significant concern for the team revolves around the allegations against Christian Horner. Christian Horner finds himself at the center of a serious allegation of inappropriate behavior, thrusting the squad into turmoil as they gear up for another competitive season. The gravity of the accusation has prompted an internal investigation by Red Bull's parent company in Austria, with an independent British King's Council appointed to oversee the inquiry. While the specifics of the allegation remain undisclosed to the public, reports suggest that Horner stands accused of exerting control over workplace conduct, particularly concerning a female employee. Horner vehemently refutes these allegations, maintaining his innocence despite undergoing rigorous questioning for eight hours in London. The timeline for the investigation remains uncertain, leaving the duration of the controversy unresolved. There's a looming possibility that the issue could extend into pre-season testing and even the initial races of the season, exposing Red Bull Racing to public scrutiny and internal disruption. If the allegations against Horner are substantiated, it could lead to a parting of ways between Red Bull and Christian Horner. What direction will Red Bull Racing take without Christian Horner leading the charge? Understanding what might happen to Red Bull Racing without Christian Horner leading the charge requires recognizing how much he has shaped the team. Horner was crucial in turning a struggling Jaguar team into a dominant force in Formula One. While Red Bull's money helped, it was Horner's ideas and leadership that pushed the team to the top. In a time when many leaders in F1 are corporate types, Horner stands out as a charismatic figure who has shaped the team's way of doing things. If he leaves, it will leave a big gap in Milton Keynes, where the team has been built around his ideas and style. Despite his significant role, rumors persist about Horner's uncertain position within the team. There are reports suggesting that he was asked to resign voluntarily, indicating internal discord. However, Horner's refusal to step down shows his determination to retain control despite mounting pressure. Amid the uncertainty surrounding Horner's future, speculations swirl around figures like Jonathan Wheatley or even Oliver Mintzlaff, potentially taking on leadership roles within the team. The changing dynamics within Red Bull Racing suggest a turbulent political environment where alliances shift and tensions simmer beneath the surface. The team is on the verge of achieving great success in Formula One, but internal conflicts could disrupt their plans. It's like having a powerful engine in a car, but the steering wheel is suddenly in question. At this critical moment, Red Bull Racing should be focused on maintaining its competitive edge and securing more victories. However, the possibility of leadership changes could throw everything off track. In the high-speed world of Formula One, stability and unity are crucial for success. 
Any disruptions within the team could have far-reaching effects, impacting not only their performance on the track, but also their reputation and future prospects. As the situation unfolds, all eyes are on Red Bull Racing. The decisions they make in response to these challenges will shape their destiny in Formula One for years to come. What are your thoughts about what is going on in Red Bull? Would a Red Bull without Christian Horner even make sense? Share your opinions in the comment section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.